In this clip, I'll show you how easy it is to customise your title block to suit your own business requirements. If you go to your Drawings tab, you can see you have a page here, which is how you lay out your plans for printing. You can right click on that page and clean it if it's not blank. And you should also right click on that page and check the properties to make sure your paper size is set correctly for what paper size you wish to use. And you can also set this as your default. Once you've checked that, you can go into your drawings library and you can have a look at the current title blocks that are available for you to use. Instead of creating a brand new one from scratch, you can pick one that is close to what you like and copy it. You could rename that title block. And then you can simply just choose to edit that and make the changes that you need. Before you make any changes, double check that this title block is also matching the paper size that you wish to print on. The change that I'll make here today is removing the current company logo and bringing in a new one to show you how you can customise this sample title block for your own company. So if we go up to insert and select image, you can then find a JPEG image of your company logo. You can move that image around and place it roughly where you need it to be and you can zoom in and out of your title block just like you do with your normal cabinet vision plans. While this image is selected, you can use the stretch points to resize it. Just being mindful that if you stretch it too big, you may lose some quality. Once you're happy with the position and the size of the logo, you can return out of your drawings page. Make sure you save your changes. And then you can test your title block on your clean page. Right click title block. Your new title block is here, select OK, and you should, should see the changes that you've made. If you'd like to set this as your default title block, right click, go to Properties, Title Block. Make sure your title block is selected in the list and set it as your system defaults. OK. Then every time you create a new sheet in your drawings page, that title block will automatically default.